Hello everyone, what is up? How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good myself. Um, sorry for the lack of content that I have been producing. Um, just haven't really been feeling it, haven't really been having the passion, I guess you could say. Uh, so I do apologize for that. But, um, I do have a battle here against the Golden Ruler 14100. Uh, it is an NU battle because NU battles are the most fun in my opinion. And that's just what I like to do. So I decided, okay, I'm going to have an NU battle. And I'm uh, just using kind of the six guys that are kind of fun to use. Looking at his team and, um... Didn't really know what to lead with. I was kind of, um, uh, oh, by the way, just a fair warning. Uh, this is not a serious team at all. Uh, there are like three or four sets on here that just suck. So, um, uh, please pardon that. Um, but anyway, so I'm looking at his team. Not really seeing anything he wants to lead off with. So I just figured lead off with Sauce Buck uh, and go from there. So I'm going to lead off with Sauce Buck as he leads off with Pine Echo. And I'm going to assume that this thing is basically functions the same way that any Fortress would function with the whole... Uh, spikes, Toxic Spikes thing. So I'm going to go into Gandalf uh, because for some reason I thought that since I was Poison type I would absorb the Toxic Spikes. I don't really know why because um, you have to actually switch in to do that. Uh, but then again, that's me being stupid. But I'm going to go into Gandalf and uh, I am the Choice Specs with the Flamethrower. So I'm going to Flamethrower this guy and um, hope to KO it. But then I realized that it does have the Sturdy so it's like, fuck me, that's annoying. Um, so he has a sturdy, lives, and he gets up a layer of spikes, which uh, is kind of annoying in the long run, but in the short run, nothing on my team really hates spikes too much. Um, I do have a... Uh, no, never mind, actually. I thought I had someone with a sash, but I don't. So I'm going to go for another flamethrower to try and kill this thing, but he goes out into War Turtle. Uh, good play, because, um, man, War Turtle is annoying. It's like a violet, and it just lives. It lives when you want it to die. It's very annoying. And I hate it, but I'm going. But I'm gonna go out into Jason Statham because um, Jason Statham is a, a man amongst men. Um, and even though um, <laughs> this thing really is actually not that good, uh, Jason Statham is good, and Jason Jason Statham is uh, awesome. Uh, he's a movie star, action star person. For those of you who don't know, so I'm gonna set up the sunny day um, on this thing, and uh, as he poisons me. Uh, with the toxic spikes and it hits me with the scald, not doing too much. A sunny day uh, up right here because I want to uh, be able to try and get some solar beams off on things and uh, stuff like that. But he actually ends up switching out, uh, I guess, fearing the uh, grass type move. Now I can go for the solar beam now, just predicting him to stay in or switch out. Doesn't really matter what I hit him with because anything I hit him with will die, obviously, because he's at 1 HP. Uh, and so I easily take him out from there with the solar beam, and now I believe he, I believe he sends out his, um, yeah, he sends out his Ludicolo, and, uh, I guess he forgot about Chlorophyll or something, um, so I'm gonna go for solar beam, uh, because I know it's, like, neutral damage, and, uh, I figured, I really figured that this solar beam was gonna do more, but as you will see, this solar beam does, like, nothing, like, it does, like, half HP, like, look at this, look, look at that, what is that, man, that, that must be a bulky... Good call. That mean, it has to be. There's no way it could have taken it that well. Um, so he actually ends up setting up a sub, which really sucks, because uh, this whole toxic damage thing is going to be uh, not toxic, but poison damage is going to be you know whittling me down and everything. Uh, so I'm going to go for another solar beam to try and break the sub, uh, knowing it will break the sub, and uh, knowing that he probably doesn't carry any move that can kill me, uh, barring like a crit or something. I don't. I don't think he has any move that could kill me. Uh, and as you will see right here, he does end up just going for the Scald, which shows me that he is a bulky set because he would be carrying Surf or Hydro Pump if he was an offensive set. So clearly he is a bulky set. Uh, toppled, or on top of the fact, not toppled, on top of the fact that he has the leftovers, also showing me that, you know, of course he is a bulky set. But that's really annoying. And thankfully I do actually live with 6 HP, which means that I can actually kill the Ludicola with another Solium, but he actually makes a pretty good switch here goes out into the Tangela. I didn't want to mess around with that Ludicolo because it, I realized that it could probably be a, like a really annoying pest to my team. So I figured let's just kill it right out right there. Uh, as he goes into Tangela, taking the resisted hit uh, and, you know, doesn't take it too well considering it's resisted and the fact that Tangela is a Violite. That, it really does not take it that well if you think about it, which just shows you the power of Jason Statham. He cannot be stopped. He's too good. Um, but regardless, I'm going to go into Sauce Buck because I know that I have the... Um, uh, sunny day up, and so I think I can set up a Swords Dance freely here, knowing that Tangela can't really do anything to me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a Swords Dance here. Um, uh, and he actually goes for the knockoff, knocking off my Heat Rock here. 
Uh, not too big of a deal because I already have the sun up, so I don't need to set up sun with my own sauce buck. Uh, so not really mattering. Don't care, to be honest with you. Um, and now I'm going to go for the frustration just to see how much it does. I know it's not going to kill it because Tangela is bulky, but I do know that it will do a significant chunk, and it does do a significant chunk as he goes for the bind. Um, just trying to get that, you know, residual damage, and, uh, man, this residual damage is racking up really fast. I have this poison, um, and I have this, uh, wrap or bind or whatever it's called, and I'm running out of sunny day turns, so it's not looking too good right now, but I'm just gonna finish him off with the horn leech to get a little more HP back, instead of the frustration, because obviously frustration would, um, not give me any HP back. So, now the sunlight fades, which, uh, is very sad, because I probably could've done some pretty nice sweeping here with Saucebuck if that had not have faded. Um, but he's gonna go in the swallow now, and I don't want to take a Brave Bird facade something or another to a face, to the face. Uh, so I'm gonna just try and, um, switch out into Asthma, knowing Asthma can take anything, but he actually, uh, protects, which is really sad because I could have set up another Sunny Day there, and then, uh, probably hit him with a Frustration to kill. But, whatever, he's gonna switch out because he doesn't, he knows he can't do anything to this thing. And I'm gonna go for the Sludge Bomb, just trying to get some decent damage on it. Uh, and this, he's gonna go into his Ludicolo, guess his fodder, or maybe to take, um, something, a pain split maybe. Who knows? Um, he's probably actually aiming to take a pain split, and that would have been really good. So, whatever. Uh, he's gonna go into War Turtle. I wanna Will Wisp this War Turtle because I want the residual damage on it, because the residual damage on wall Pokemon is good. Uh, this War Turtle would be a really big annoyance to my team. Uh, so getting a Will Wisp on it is good, because, you know, that, that little bit of extra damage each turn is really gonna help take it down. Uh, he goes for the Scald, thankfully doesn't get the burn. The burn would be very unfortunate there because um, uh, Asthma really needs his recovery and the the burn would negate his lefties. Actually, I think he takes more from burn. So the burn would be just really bad for him and he wouldn't be able to take hits nearly as well because he doesn't have any HP regain. Uh, well, bar paint split, but regardless. He's gonna go for the Seismic Toss. I didn't even know War Turtle got Seismic Toss. Like, oh, look at it. Does, it. does War Turtle look like the kind of Pokemon that would learn Seismic Toss? I mean, really. It just, it, does, it just doesn't look like it. It just really doesn't. Does that thing look like it could just toss you up in the air? No, it doesn't. Uh, whatever. Uh, so I'm going to go into Bessie because I know that Bessie um, carries the um, heal bell. And I want to try and heal off my Sawsbuck. And also knowing that I can take basically any hit this thing wants to throw at me. Um, because I have pretty decent HP chunk and all. Uh, chunk. Pretty HP. Pretty decent HP stat. So I know I can take any seismic toss or any shenanigans he wants to throw at me. Now, I'm going to Heal Bell because I want to get the Poison off my Bessie and also off of the Sauce Book as he goes out into his own Mill Tank. Uh, not really sure what this thing wants to do. There are like 50 million Mill Tank sets, so you can't really tell which one it's going to be. You kind of just have to guess uh, upon their team. I was kind of thinking that this was going to be the Stealth Rocking uh, Mill Tank just because he doesn't have any Pokemon with Stealth Rocks on it uh, on his team. Uh, but then again, he could just not be carrying Hazard, so I don't really know. But uh, I'm going to go into Gandalf kind of trying to um, switch switcheroo on this mill tank because I know that uh, mill tank with choice specs is not a good mill tank. I, there are like no special mill tank sets and uh, so yeah getting a specs on this thing would be really nice. So I'm gonna try and switcheroo the specs onto him as he goes for a seismic toss uh, and thankfully he does switch in because I do get to switcheroo him and that means he's gonna have a choice specs and uh, that's really gonna suck for him because uh, to be honest with you, Miltank is definitely a poke that you don't want to be choiced. Like, unless a choice band set with Body Slam, I really don't see much of a point of running a choice uh, Miltank set. So that's really good. I'm going to basically cripple him. And now I kind of predict him to switch out because he doesn't want a Seismic Toss again. So I'm going to go back into my own Bessie because I know that I can live these entry hazards and then I can try and get up a Milk Drink. Um, barring that I am faster than this one. Um, because uh, I'm sitting at a not very good HP right here, and Miltank is one of the only things that I have to counter his Swellow. Uh, so I'm really hoping that I can outspeed him and get the Milk Drink up, but unfortunately he wins the Speed Tire or is faster. Not really sure which one. Kind of thinking that he is ju just won the Speed Tire. Uh, but whatever, that means I'm going to fall, uh, bite the dust, and uh, man, this Choice Specs Miltank is really doing a lot more than I thought. And I'm going to go out into Saucebuck, and just try and Horn Leech, thinking that Horn Leech will restore my HP to a point uh, where I can live one Seismic Toss, hopefully. And the Horn Leech does nothing, so fuck me. But thankfully, I do live with 102. So that means I'm going to live the seismic toss, seismic toss with 2 HP. Thank the 
lord, that would have just sucked. So now I get to get up another Horn Leech. I know I'm not going to be able to get enough HP to live another Seismic Toss, but I know uh, also that um, any damage on this mill tank will really help. So he goes for Seismic Toss again, uh, takes out my Sawsbuck. Uh, Sawsbuck is obviously going to die there. And uh, now I'm not looking too good because this uh, mill tank is just annoying the shit out of my entire team. So I'm going to go into probably like the worst Rotom set you've ever seen. So Rotom F, as we all know, is a flying type, and it gets Levitate. So this really, it's like basically a useless uh, ability. But then on top of that, I decided to give my um, Rotom F a balloon because I'm just that smart. And this really was not a very serious set, so uh, don't, don't judge me. I know it's a really bad set, uh, but I just figured, you know, it will be fun to use and stuff. And um, I, I like using really bad sets, so whatever. I'm going to air slash this thing, trying to get some flinch damage on it. Um, but he goes out into War Turtle for fodder, and now his only two pokes left are the Miltank and the Swell, so he's gonna, he'll, blah, so he's gonna go out into Swellow, and, uh, unfortunately, he can take me out from that range, um, man, Swellow is just a really, uh, a pretty big threat in the NU metagame, uh, I really need to, uh, really, if I had preserved my Weezing, uh, more this match, if I had tried to, uh, if I had played smart and kept my Weezing, uh, at a more decent HP, I probably could have stalled him out here with Pain Split and Sludge Bomb and all that. But unfortunately, it was not meant to be, so I'm going to uh, not live, be able to live. And then I'm going to go out into my final Pokemon, Gandalf the Snake, who, um, that's an inside joke, so don't blame yourself if you don't know what it is. And he's going to be able to take me out with a Facade. And uh, I'm really thinking of using the Swellow because Swellows are pretty darn cool and they generally do a lot of work against my team. So they're probably going to do a lot of work against other people's team. Um, but regardless, thank you all for watching. Um, now a quick side note that I want to uh, just kind of point out. Um, I have recently uh, been kind of like snooping around on this uh, forum place called the Battle Society. Um, it's a really cool place. It's where I got this battle and there are tons of cool people there. Um, it's a really nice community. Uh, my, uh, my good, not my good friend, but I guess my kind of like YouTube friend person, Unseen Acorns is also on there. Um, same with, um, Special Mudkip, another YouTuber, um, and a lot of the people on that channel, um, have some sort of YouTube channel, so if you wanna, you know, look for the YouTubers there, or just get some battles, or just hang out, cause they're cool people and everything, uh, definitely go check it out. Uh, link will be in the description. So, have a great day, um... I'm not sure if this you if this opponent had a YouTube channel. If it is, I will link it. Uh, he did leave the chat before I could actually ask him, so I'm not sure. But have a great day, and go play outside, because it is a brilliantly sunny day. So go play outside and have fun.